हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ डॉक्टर अमित्स बायोकेमिस्ट्री दिस इज़ आनंदिता हियर एंड आई एम करेंटली परसुइंग माय पीएचडी एंड दीज ऑल आर द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ इम्यूनोलॉजी व्हिच इज़ गोइंग ऑन ऑन द सेम चैनल यू कैन फाइंड द होल प्ले लिस्ट मेक श्योर यू हैव वॉच द फर्स्ट लेक्चर्स ऑल द लेक्चर्स विच आर अवेलेबल बिफोर कमिंग टू टू दिस एक्चुअली द एंटी जेन वन यू शुड सी देन ओनली यू कैन कम हियर Uh, in this uh, uh, lecture, we will see about antigens, antigenicity, and immunogenicity. See, uh, we study these two things as a separate entity. Yeah, uh, but here I have just uh, made it as simple as I can, right? So here, what we see is uh, actually about antigen. I have dis uh, discussed in that uh, previous video. Uh, make sure you watch that video, at least that video. Uh, why I am saying because there I have discussed about the types of antigen, right? Uh, their actually functions how they are uh, um, initiating the immune response right uh, and uh, what are the various classic pathway of initiating immune response but now here we will see about in, uh, antigens and immunogen just see the basic difference between them they can be self non self or foreign here also it can be self non self or foreign first we will see this combined with the final product of immune system right uh, in that video i have discussed how hemorrhoidal response and cell mediated response actually occurs hemorrhoid is something that is uh, arms arms mediated right means antibodies or protein entities are made and foreign things are they are just killed by the, uh, the this process right and this cell mediated is something uh, called uh, corpse fighting we can say uh, where all t cells they proliferate uh, very definely we can say factor t cell right the antigens which is interacting with the final product of immune system these are the final product antibodies or we can say factor t cells they this property or they are initiating the property that is known as antigenicity is it it's clear i think then we'll see about the immunogens similar thing they are also in self they can be non self or foreign right they have the ability to induce immune response see the difference they are these antigens are actually combining with the final product of immune system but here this is interacting or initiating the immune response for suppose this is uh, your um, antigen right and this is b cell or t cell so in both the terms see antigen can initiate both processes not only the t cell which is going to activate b cell and it's forming a plasma cell then only humoral will happen no they can directly initiate this uh, b cell also uh, i have given the example also so see so cell mediated or humoral response can happen so this is about uh, this property is antigenicity and here this property is uh, this is a uh, sorry antigenicity and this is immunogenicity the immunogens are producing in immunogenicity and antigens are doing that of the antigenicity there's a classic statement here the statement is all immunogens are antigens but all antigens are not immunogens means see immunogens are definitely foreign see and they are they are also reacting with the final product but antigens they can't initiate that kind of thing right so they are foreign but they can never be immunogens there is two mcq for you uh number one is antigens can be options are protein carbohydrate nucleic acid and d is all the above second question is any substance interacting with antibodies options are antigen immunogen antibodies or epitope you have to just uh, answer this in the comment section right the next thing is about heptin see actually i am pursuing my phd in the same subject so uh, we have a very rigorous research going on here so it is quite very clear to say heptins as antigen why i am saying this uh, everywhere you will see uh, a, a kind of statement it is half antigen or something like that it's not about that actually the best way we can say it is hep antigen but they are so weak or we can say too weak to generate response or immune response this is the only scenario or only case right the next thing is uh, a pictorial representation is there this is heptin and this is reacting with the carrier protein and if 
some carrier protein or some sort of bigger molecule is there then they can generate the immune response so it is very clear that they are too small size is the only property here in case of heptane nothing else now you see this was about heptane which can uh, if combining with the carrier protein they can generate the immune response now focus on carrier protein right this carrier protein in case of vaccine industry uh, i'll be taking that lecture in uh, vaccine when i'll be teaching this uh, vaccine so in the vaccine industry this carrier protein is only adjuvants adjuvants are not something from the mars right they are the carrier protein or we can say that molecule which can enhance the immune response or immunogenicity of heptane molecules heptane means something which is smaller smaller antigens we can say smaller antigen right so adjuvants are something which is increasing the immune response or immunogenicity so this depends upon size dose other factors can also uh, be there and genotypy of the recipient this is the main factor genotypy why i am saying because uh, in case of corona virus you might have seen uh, everybody was not getting that much affected see all are not all were not getting that much affected there were certain people who had met death and certain people who had just a cold and flu and they became uh, fit and fine right so this is uh, genotypy of recipient is the most important factor then size and dose is there other factors can also happen now what this adjuvants can do right alum can is an example aluminium for but i think phosphate something like that okay alum is the example here we have what they do this adjuvants is they can increase the size increase the size of the what these smaller molecules so that they can do immunogenicity they can produce immune immune response now increase the size they can activate the macrophage macrophage is antigen presenting cells right they can activate them so further response can happen and local inflammation also they can create right so this was about uh, antigenicity uh, immunogenicity uh, heptane and their adjuvant molecules so hope you enjoyed the video and uh, thank you for your patient listening thank you so much see you in the next video